we will discuss about the question number 30. Okay. So here the oblique binary fission is found in oblique binary fission found in the option A monocystis, option B plasmodium vivax, option C planaria and option D is the Seratia. Okay, so these are the four options. What we are going to see. Okay, so here the right answer for the the question number thirteen is the Seratia. Okay, so the binary oblique binary fusion will takes place through the the Seratia. Okay, option B is the right answer. Okay, so what here happens in the case of oblique binary fusion? The longitudinal separation, otherwise the the longitudinal division of the Organism, we will call that as a oblique binary fission. Okay, in the case of a normally, if we consider that binary fission means the nucleus will break down, then the cytoplasm will break down, they will get separate into two organisms. That's what we call that as a binary fission. But in the case of a oblique binary fission, what will happen? The two cytoplasm will get separate from one another. Okay. So first the cytoplasm will get separate, then the nucleus and they will separate from one another. So that is what we call it as an oblique binary fusion. Oblique means the longitudinal breakdown, otherwise the longitudinal separation of the organism we call it as an oblique binary fusion. So what about the remaining three? Like a monocystis. Okay, monocystis will reproduce through the sexual reproduction. Okay, the sexual through the sexual reproduction, otherwise the fusion of the gametes will take place. Then they will give birth to the another animal. So that's what the monocystis. When it comes to the plasmodium vivax, plasmodium vivax gives through the multiple fission. So there are two types of binary uh, fissions we are going to see. One will be the uh, mainly they are going to see two types. One will be the the binary fission, another one will be the multiple fission. Okay. So in the case of a binary fission, the one organism will be get separate and they will form a two organisms. Okay. So, but in the case of a multiple fusion, what will happen? It will give more than two organisms in this condition. Okay. So that is what we call it as a multiple fusion. When it comes to the the planaria, planaria uh, in this case, what will happen? The regeneration we are going to see the asexual reproduction. That is the the regeneration. Okay. So, what is the meaning of a regeneration here? So, if any part of that organism has been cut or the separate from that parent body, that cut part will be the other way, the separated part will be grow into a new individual. So, that is what we call that as a regeneration. The regeneration here we are going to see if okay. It is a parent body if it has been get separated. Okay, it has been get separated. So this separated part will be grow into new individual and this whatever this part it is also grown. Okay, so this is what we call it as a regeneration. Okay, planaria will undergo with the regeneration process. Now the question number 14: the among the following. Which one is not a method of asexual reproduction? You know about the asexual reproduction? There is only involvement of a one parent. That parent will give birth to the another N1. Okay, which exactly look alike. Okay, so the option A here, budding. Option B, layering. Option C, sowing. And option D, the binary fusion. Okay, first I understand the question that among the following, which one is not a method of asexual reproduction? Okay. So here, the what will happen in the case of budding? Budding is a the vegetative propagation. It is a type of a asexual reproduction. Okay. So here we are going to see uh, budding means the bud formation will takes place to the the parent body. Bud formation will takes place to the parent body, and after the maturation, it will get separate from the parent body, and it will grow into a new individual. That's a budding. Okay. Now, when it comes to the layering, so layering, what will happen? The plant we are going to take, and the, the plant from the plant, we will separate the stem, and we will keep that in the soil. Okay. So up to root, when it leave the root, then we are going to uh, make it uh, come out of the soil. So that is what we call it as a layering. And uh, you know already about the binary fusion that so one parent body will separate into two organisms. 
sowing means in Kannada we will say that bitthodu and the territory okay so that is what the sowing so the right answer is a sowing okay it is not a asexual method the remaining three are the asexual method okay so now we will discuss about the 15th question okay so the question number 15 after fertilization the ovary develops into okay option a c option b food option c perica and the option d stamens okay so first we will concentrate here the fruit will develop from the sorry the seed will develop from the ovules ovules will become ovules will converted into seed okay then the perica perica means it is the outer covering layer of a fruit already we are going to see the fruit and the outer layer whatever the outer layer will be there that layer we will call it as a peri car okay then the stem it is a the male part of a flower the male part of a flower we will call that as a stem okay the proper answer for the question number 15 is the fruit okay option b is the right answer okay so ovary will develop into fruit ovules will become seed seed will develop from the ovule pericarp will be the outer layer it is the outer layer of fruit it is the outer layer of a fruit and when it comes to stamen it is a male part it is a male part of of flower male part of a flower we will call that as a stem okay then the question number 16 the terminal irreversible stage of aging is called okay so directly you will say that the process of an aging whatever we will call it as a, the process of aging the uh, whenever we are going to see the lifespan of our organisms we are going to see it starts from a progeny right so it, it childhood and then the adulthood then the aging process we are going to see that aging the aging is not a reversible process okay so aging is an irreversible process and not we are going to call that so when it comes to the options option a autogamy option b syngamy option c senescence and the option b is a cryptogams here the right answer for this the aging process we will call it as a senescence senescence is the right answer answer option c is the right answer so when it comes to the, the remaining options like the autogamy, syngamy and the cryptogams autogamy means self fertilization or the self pollination we will say that as a self pollination or the self fertilization so what is the meaning of self fertilization here in this case what happens the pollen grains will transfer from male part to the female part of the same flower okay the pollen grain self pollination and the self fertilization is the same word so in this case what happens in the and when it comes to the flowers the pollen grains will transfer from male part that means the stamens to the otherwise the anther to the the pistil or the stigma of the female part okay so male part to female part so that process we will call that as a auto gabbing the transfer of pollen grain from uh, male part to the female part of a same flower we will call that as a autogamy so when it comes to the syngamy syngamy is nothing but the fertilization process we will call it as a syngamy that means the fusion of a gamete the fusion of a male and the female gamete we will call that as a syngamy okay uh, you can say that the other uh, sexual reproduction we will say that right the fertilization process we will call that as a syngamy so when it comes to the cryptogams, cryptogams means the reproduction will takes place through the spores. Okay, the formation of a new species will take place, or otherwise the new organism will take place through the spores. We will call that as that process as a cryptogams. Okay, so for the question number 15, the proper answer is the option B is the right answer okay and for the question number 16 option c is the right answer question number question number 17 menstrual cycle occurs in okay option a world world monkeys b apes c humans and the d all of these okay before that we will understand the difference between the menstrual cycle and the estrus cycle 
So menstrual cycle, it is a psychic event which are, takes place in the mammalian primates. Okay. In the case of a mammalian primates, in the, the menstrual cycle will go on taking place. That, that, that is nothing but the, uh, by the uh, rupturing of an endometrium layer, the bleeding will take place in the uterus. So that process we will call it as a menstrual cycle. That only takes place in the mammalian primates. So apart from the mammalian primates, the remaining we consider them as a non-primates. Apart from the uh, primates, right? Okay. So in that, the whatever the cyclic events which will take place in the non-primates, we call it as a the estrus cycle. We call it as a estrus cycle. Okay. So estrus cycle, non-primates, the menstrual cycle, it takes place in the primates. So in that, the whatever the organisms we are considering them as a primates, like in this case, you will consider the monkey, apes and the humans. All three we consider them as a primates. So in the primates only, the menstrual cycle will take place. So in here, the right answer is a option D. Because all these three are the primates. So that's why the menstrual cycle will take place in the all of the above. That's my, that is nothing but a, the monkeys, apes and the humans. Okay. So when it comes to the, the question number 18, in ginger, vegetative propagation occurs through either it might be the offset or bulb bills or the runners and the option D is the rhizome. Okay. So here, the, all the four of them are a, the vegetative propagation. Vegetative propagation here, the it is nothing but a, it is a asexual reproduction in the plants. Okay, it is a asexual reproduction which will take place in the plants. We call that as a vegetative propagation. Okay, so how it is going to be takes place in some of the plants by cutting the stem. We will cut the stem and we will keep that in the soil and that whatever the cut it part it will grow into a new uh, plant. Okay. So even uh, you might have heard the word rose. Okay. Rose we are going to see through the stem cutting. So that is how which type of a vegetative propagation will take place in the ginger. That is a option D. Rhizome. Rhizome is the proper answer for the, the, in the ginger. Okay. So option D for the 18th question, for the options, uh, for the question number 17, it is the option D. Okay. So, rhizome will take place in the ginger. Okay. Thank you.